How's it going today YouTube and welcome back to Shaner's Mechanic Life. So I got an Amazon tool haul for you tonight. I'm working on a little tool cart project so I needed to come up with a second set of tools on a tight budget. So I decided to go with the Amazon Basics line. I'd like to give these three items a try, put it through its paces, and let you know what I think. Let me show you what I got. Now the first thing I picked up was this Amazon Basics 73 piece magnetic ratcheting wrench and screwdriver set. Now I do work in the shop, away from the shop, and outside the shop in the parking lot. So I need this second set of tools to be compact and easy to take from one job to the next. Well, so far this has been a handy little set. It's got three settings for the screwdriver. You can have just locked in one way, and then you just turn that, go one way, turn it the other way, and you ratchet the other way. Comes with this nut driver. Nine sockets that range from four millimeters to 13 millimeters, missing the 11 millimeter. It's got all your basic screwdriver bits, and if you're just doing one little job, you can throw a couple bits in the handle. And it's also got this telescoping extension. So you can go for a fairly long reach down to your standard screwdriver length. So far I've used it off and on for a couple weeks and uh, no problems so far. You know, it closes up easily. You can throw it in your toolbox, and the case keeps everything clean and dry when you're working out in the rain, the snow, the dirt, whatnot. Let me show you what I got next. Next, I got the Amazon Basics 22-piece SAE and metric ratcheting wrench set. Comes in this handy nylon roll-up case, so if you're working up on top of an excavator or something, you can just... Grip Grab it by the handle, take it to where you're working, and once you're up there, you can roll it out. So the metric set, you got 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Kind of wish there was a 19. And here are the sizes of the standard set basically from quarter inch all the way up to and including three quarters. So this set goes along with my theme of being cost effective, compact, and easily portable. I'll just pull out and use the 9 16th wrench for an example here. As you can see it's a polished chrome finish. You've got their Amazon Basics brand logo on there. I looked it up, it's 72 tooth ratchet. 5 degree working swing and it's a straight wrench there's no offset or anything there's no lever to reverse the direction just easily flip it and go the other way with it now all this Amazon basic stuff it's uh, only got a one year warranty hopefully I don't need it but time will tell with that now I can't see Amazon actually manufacturing your own tools, so these are probably rebranded. If anybody you know who, who makes them, well, let me know in the comment section. Now I'll leave links in, uh, in the description of the video if anybody's interested in getting some more information. So let's see what the next piece is. Now the third and final piece of this tool haul is the Amazon Basics Mechanic Tool Kit with Case. It's 145 pieces. So let's open it up and have a look. Now it comes in this handy plastic blow molded case, which makes it easy to take with you. It's got these metal clasps for the front. Only problem is I've had these pop out a couple times, but they easily just go right back in. And on the sides, you get your plastic clasps that help hold this set together. So once you open it up, and in the top section, Got some standard and metric hex keys, 
you got your nut driver, you got your adapter to use these sockets, some screwdriver bits, and some combination wrenches. On the standard size, you got 3 8 half inch, 9 16 and 5 8 On the metric side, you go from 10, 11, 12, and 13. Would be nice to have a 14 in there, but for a compact kit like this, space is kind of limited. It's got this little foam pad to prevent things from falling out. And on the bottom, you got your quarter inch and three eighths quick release ratchets, and an array of sockets. Rather than just babbling off the sizes and stuff, I'll just pan across so you can see what sizes they are. This is a quarter inch shallow, starting off with your standard. Then you go into your metric. Going up, this is your quarter inch deep. And next row we get into our three eighths. And up top, we get our three eighths deep. Metric on this side. Standard on that side, you get your quarter inch extension, your 3 8 extension, and a 5 8 spark plug socket. So let's take a look at the ratchets. Like I said, they're the quick release ratchets, which comes in handy sometimes. You just press a button and it pops the socket off. Seems like a fairly, fairly heavy duty tooth system. 72 teeth again, just like the ratcheting wrenches your selector for forward and reverse it's got some weight to it you know in the hands it doesn't feel cheap I've used this for a couple weeks and you know I haven't had anything skip on me so far so good you know it's a fairly thick head on it too and the quarter inch ratchet is exactly the same only just a little bit smaller and a quarter inch drive Now, depending how you look at the next point, this could be a good or a bad feature. Now, to get the sockets out, it's actually quite tight in there. So, it could be kind of annoying when you're trying to get a smaller one out. I've actually had to get a screwdriver to help pop it out. But how that might be good, you know, we've all had these multi-piece sets. And you go to lift it up and you forget to clasp it and shut it. You know, you can pick the thing right up. The sockets aren't falling out. I think we've all had one of those catastrophes where you pick up your socket set and it dumps all over the parking lot. So like I mentioned earlier in the video, I do some outside work and a lot of times when something breaks down, it's dark, it's cold, it's rainy. So this, these socket sets and all these tools, they're going to be getting soaked. So one way I found to help prevent them from rusting when you pack them up and take these absorbing mats now be careful which ones you buy some of them will only absorb oil and you can get some that will actually absorb water as well so I'll put a layer of those put the foam layer and another absorbing pad for the top tools and you just shut it kind of hard to do with one hand and latch it up That and those pads, if you got one of those loose fitting socket sets that dump all over the place, that'll help things stay stored the right way when you're driving down the road. As you can see, all three of these items fit very nicely in the bottom section of my Husky Connect rolling toolbox. Just put the next stage on, lock it down, and I'm ready for the next job. Now just to clarify, I bought this with my own money. Amazon didn't send it to me to try. So you know you're getting an honest opinion. So far, the ratcheting wrench set and the socket set, let's say those got stolen tonight, I would definitely order the next set of them tomorrow morning. The only thing that actually feels cheap to me at least is a screwdriver set. But, you know, time will tell. 
and provided I don't use a screwdriver as a pry bar, I'm sure it'll last as long as I take care of it. And if the screwdriver does break, look at it this way. At least you got all these bits for that price. Just want to end this video by thanking one of my new subscribers, Fry. Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate all my subscribers. Well, everybody, let me know what you think of this in the comment section. Hit that like button and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. That way you get notified when I get new videos coming up. Anyway, have a good night, everybody, and thanks for watching.